Hi there, Casey and Jen here with another Fusion video. Today we're going to be talking about some creative ways to cue the mat work and we're going to be looking at leg circles. So Jen, let's go ahead and have you lay down on your back here. So um, what I've done is given Jen a little bit of a pillow. Now usually you'll see us use the bigger posture pillow, but since instead of kind of elevating the top part of the body, we're gonna be elevating the bottom part of the body. So this is a Mikasa ball. This is one of our favorite props to use for sure. I really like um, how small it is. It's actually the perfect size to put at the sacrum to do all sorts of different exercises and get the core musculature to really start talking. Now in leg circles, we're dealing with spirals. Well, every movement we're dealing with spirals of the body, but in leg circles, we have this beautiful circular stirring of the body. And typically, the pelvis is placed on the mat and we're trying to stabilize it in our beginning clients to teach that differentiation between the leg that's moving and the stable pelvis. Now, as you get further into the Pilates repertoire, if you go into the more advanced mat work, you actually get to leverage the hip up with the leg circle. But we're adding another component, a spherical component to this too. So there's going to be a lot of activation of the core musculature as well as what I really like about putting the pelvis up on this ball is that when a client has their pelvis on the mat, a lot of times it can be very tricky to see where they're putting their weight. If Jen's right leg comes up into leg circles, it might look fairly even, but her whole you know, left side of her body might be really pressing down into the mat. I won't know it, and more importantly, Jen won't know that as she's moving. So we put the pelvis up on the ball, which we'll do right now. Here you go, and I'll have Jen place it. And we'll really be able to see where she's holding her weight. Now Jen has fixed her pillow nicely, and as you can see, the, the ball is right at her sacrum, right in the middle of the sacrum, okay? So first things first is, you know, you can do all of, we've done clocking in our videos before, you can do knee folds, but we're gonna kind of bring Jen on the fast track here. And what I want you to do, Jen, is just gently bring your right leg up into tabletop. So Jen's gonna have to use her arms and her stabilizing left leg here to try to find that balance of the pelvis on the ball. A lot of times, and we'll do this here, is you're going to have to cue that sitting bone, right? Sitting bone reaching. Ooh, very nice, Jen. Now, you might need to start here, even drop the, the heel to the tush, and she can start this gentle leg stirring. Now, this is really difficult because she's on a moving target here, right? So you really have to think about how the femur had moves inside of the socket. And now the other part of it is this stabilizing leg doesn't get to just lock into one place. It has to, the femur head on the stabilizing side has to kind of search out all the places in the acetabulum to help, yes, very good, stabilize the pelvis. Now as this gets harder and harder, or they get more efficient, the leg will start to extend, right? So we're putting much more pull from all of the leg pulley systems on the balance of the leg and hip and start to do little circles. Mm -hmm. And so this is the tiniest stirring. Mm -hmm. Very good, Jen. Keep reaching that right sitting bone. And now let's see what the other side has to say. Now this is a lot of work for your clients to do. So you might just wanna do a few and then bend the knee and rest it back down onto the mat. So you could have this be the core exercise for leg circles in your class, or this could be a warm up before you get into your larger leg circles. All right, that's what we have for you today. We'll see you soon.